Hey, I'm going to show you how to create drop shadows in Illustrator. So you can see here, I've got an example from Gumroad. I love their Illustrator their brand style, and they've got these harsh shadows. I'm going to show you how to create this effect. So what you want to do, you want to go and make a box. It can be any color you want. Let's go with like a bluish color. So what you want to do is click on appearance. The appearance panel is in the window, so you can go down to appearance. And what you want to do is select the shape, and you can see I've got a stroke and a fill here. Now, what I want to do is click on FX, go down to stylize and click drop shadow. You'll get this box pop up. We want zero blur and then we can adjust the X and Y offset. So I'm going to bring the opacity to 100%. You can see the color is this nice black color. Maybe we can bring it to the blues there and bring it that side. And I'm going to bump this up. So I'm going to bump the X axis and then the Y offset as well. That looks good and you can put the mode on normal okay that's looking good now what I'm gonna do is click on the stroke as well and then make that stroke black and we'll bump that up just like this now what you want to do is go to the stroke panel and you want to click the round option to round off those corners so if I select this and I click the middle cap and then the corner you want to click the middle corner as well it should round off those edges just like that even the drop shadow gets rounded as well and then you can see you have this really nice effect here, nice soft edges with those corners, which I really love. Now, if you do want to round the corners a little bit more, I'll show you a cool trick. You just direct select the whole shape, go to the top menu bar and you see corners here, as you can see. And what you can do is just bump the pixels up here and it should curve it more. So maybe you want to do like maybe 15. You can see you get a more of a rounded soft effect. And this is how you create cool drop shadows whether you want to go for a retro vibe or just a really flat vibe that really pops that's how you create that so thanks so much for watching if you want to see more adobe illustrator tutorials just like this click on this playlist or video right here to watch that